While all new at 530, police say an employee of a group home for people with disabilities assaulted a client. ABC Action News investigator Adam Walzer is live in St. Petersburg where the incident happened. Adam? Well, Laura, that police report says that two park employees actually intervened. They removed that caregiver from the victim and then called the authorities. Now the CEO of the organization called the incident appalling, and she says it does not reflect on the good work that the nonprofit has done here in the community over many decades. So tell me what happened today. He hurt me. Who? Bonnie. This is Kelly Honeycutt describing an assault by caregiver Bonnie Burrell who was arrested for abusing a disabled person last week after police said Burrell placed both hands on her neck and throat and pushed her. What did she do? She tried to get it in my neck. Kelly has cerebral palsy and an intellectual developmental disability. She has lived in the nonprofit Park St. Petersburg group home since she was nine years old. It's wrong. My sister's nothing but nice to these people and to take advantage of her like that is... You shouldn't be putting your hands on anybody. Kelly's sister Erin is her legal guardian. She says she has complained multiple times after she saw signs her sister was injured. That's when they glued her skin back on her head. Erin said in recent years she's photographed cuts and bruises. These were different bruises on her arms that I took a picture of. Um, her eye, it's all red with blood. The state investigated Erin's prior complaints but found no evidence of wrongdoing. This doesn't happen in the vacuum. Um, if you have one event, maybe that can be something that can be an accident. If you have several events, then I think you have to look at it and, and find out what, what they're doing wrong. Park CEO Karen Higgins declined an on-camera interview, but said Burrell passed a background check and had extensive training. She was immediately fired. Higgins said Park has provided services to the community for more than 63 years and currently serves more than 800 clients. Erin says she hopes that there won't be future issues for her sister. They're there to get good care and be taken care of, and it should be a safe place that they can trust. And if she's going there and getting abused, it's, it's not right, just because they think she can't speak up. Now, we reached out to Burrell on the phone, and she said she didn't want to comment. Reporting live from St. Petersburg, I'm my team investigator Adam Walser, taking action.